to episode 110, 110 straight weeks of Quest for a Thousand Songs, where I write two brand new songs each week, usually right before I record this, as was the case today. And then I learn a cover I've never played before. So let's get started, direct from the Rob Lincoln Unpresidential Library, looking a bit more unpresidential than usual because of the angle. Well, this first song came from a very unusual set of inspirations. First of all, Charles Nolan, great singer-songwriter who has moved up to Canada, but has been around the Philadelphia era for quite a while, suggested I use an adjective and a noun, twisted sunset, in a song. So I did that. But I couldn't figure out what kind of song to write. So I began looking at who was born and who died on this date. And I found that yesterday was the 64th anniversary of the death of a very little known jazz singer who I'd never heard of until I just found out about it. Her name was Beverly Kenny. And she uh, committed suicide at the age of 28 and uh, kind of a a sad and fascinating story. I suggest you listen to her. She sounds a she sounds a bit like Billie Holiday, but sounds a lot, a lot vocally like Nellie Mackay, if you're familiar with her voice. I wonder if uh, Nellie has listened to her before. So anyhow, this first song is called So Little Left But Blue. So Little Left But Blue in honor of Beverly Kenny. In the village, living the jazz life, on your own but longing to be his wife. I know so very little, I really can't say Perhaps you wouldn't stand to be passé Watching the world turn away from you There seem to be so little left but blue I never heard you this very day But now I know your voice won't go away Watching the world turn away from you There seems to be so little left but blue Twisted sunset in your mind Dips into darkness till you are blind You seem no future, only death Music to your ears is your final breath Watching the world turn away from There seems to be so little left but blue Second note, alcohol Second note in alcohol How you hate that rock and No 
now you are still among our world. If someone seeks your name, they'll find a pearl in the oceans of lost time. You sank so fast. Watching the world turn away from you There seems to be so little left but blue Watching the world turn away from you There seems to be so little Definitely not my style of song. Very uh, jazzy, I guess. Somewhat, maybe. Somebody who has a different style might do something with that. But so little left but blue in honor of Beverly Kenny. Next song's completely different. Well, this song's completely different. Kind of an Irish style song. Probably should be sung by my musical partner, Steve Lessig, who does Irish songs real well. But it's a true story. It's about my experiences. I never thought I'd write about this. It wasn't a particularly good experience. Happened about 40 years ago. And I met somebody that didn't like me very much. She's from Ireland. Um, but this song was inspired. It was an Irish song because one of our listeners, Pat Foltz, suggested I listen to Doogie McLean. And he was singing Caledonia. And I believe that's probably Scottish, if i correct. But... Ireland, Scotland, kind of similar sounding music. So this is a song called Never Been to Ireland. You can tell I've never been around those parts. Brand new song, Never Been to Ireland. Drop D tuning. I've never been to Ireland Though I've fancied an Irish girl Came from the Emerald Island that was half around the world She said her name was Kathy She came from Dublin town Treated me just like a lackey When she wanted me around oh, I'd never been to Ireland Though I fancied an Irish girl Came from a distant island That was half around the world I bought her tons of jewelry That she never did accept And all of my affections Oh, she quickly did reject Cause I've never been to Ireland and I fancied an Irish girl I saw she had stopped smiling Missed her own part of the world For she was dreaming of the ocean She hoped to cross again Longing for a family Back in her own homeland The airline ticket. She said she did not like the states. Said people here seem stupid. She made a bad mistake. But I've never been to Ireland. But I fancied an Irish girl. Came from the Emerald Island. That was half around the world And she'd never been here Mr. Mummy D
So today's cover, I am covering a friend of mine, a regular listener, a really fine songwriter who participates a lot, gives a lot of ideas. His name is Richard Hunt. He asked me to cover one of his funniest songs, but I've done it before, so I can't put it in the series because every cover I do has to be something I haven't ever played before. But I think I'll record that other song and do a special video of that sometime soon. Um, so I ended up uh, recording a song that seems to be a children's song, but it's from a child's perspective, but it's quite far from a children's song. Sometimes this song has been misunderstood. People don't listen carefully to the lyrics, um, but you'll hear the lyrics here. Song by Richard Hunt. So here we go on a banjo tar. Richard Hunt's song called Monster. My apologies if I don't have the chords quite right here. Here he comes, he's a monster. He fills me with a terrible fright. Here he comes, he's a monster. He's coming for me in the night. So I hide beneath the covers, pull the blankets over my head, and bury my face in the pillows, pretend that I'm already dead. But the monster never falls to that, and jerks the covers off of my face, hauls me from the bed by my ankles, drags me to his Definitely not a children's song. Richard Hunt has a lot of wonderful songs. I'm, I'm planning on covering a couple more down the line. He's a really good artist to cover. So anyhow, thanks for listening. Thanks for stopping by. If you liked anything, either the new originals or the cover, please like, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and come on by for episode 111 next week. This is episode 110 of Quest for a Thousand Songs. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.